Welcome to this special video series of Wealth Archie entitled Global Investing for the Filipino Investor which is done in partnership with AXA Philippines. Kasama natin dito sa video series na to si Mr. Dexter Agkawili who is the Investment Solutions Director of AXA Philippines and the country representative to Arquitas Asia, an asset management company of the AXA Group. Check out the video description for the links to all the five episodes of this video series. That's it for my intro. Let's begin. Hello mga ka and uh, welcome sa episode 2 nito ating special video series. And of course, kasama pa rin natin si Sir Dexter. Kamusta Dex? Hello. Hi Fritz. Hi uh, Renzi. Hello mga ka Ito Ito, uh, doing well kahit nandito sa bahay. Ay. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Ganda mo ha. Ang ganda kasi ng green screen mo. Ang <laughs> ganda ng bahay mo ha. <laughs> so, so of course, uh, nandito na naman tayo sa ating special video series discussing yes. about uh, global investing for the Filipino investor in partnership with AXA Philippines and uh, Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung episode 1, dapat panoorin nyo muna. <laughs> but na uh, in summary, we discussed dun sa episode 1 na uh, yung barriers sa pag invest sa global mm-hmm. markets ay mas mababa na ngayon, mas madali na, mas accessible. And uh, dapat we make it part of our investment or financial plan yung i-check out yung mga opportunities na ino-offer sa global markets. Oh, Tama, oh sabi nga na, yes, sabi nga natin, there's a bigger world out there. Goodbye pond, <laughs> which is the Philippine Hello, market. Ocean. Hello ocean. Yeah. Yes. Marami, marami. As in super bubukas ang mundo ninyo kapag tiningnan ninyo at nakita ang mga opportunities dito sa global investing. So, yung mga nailista ko na mga benefits pagdating sa Pagdat, pagdating sa pag invest in the global markets are diversification, investment growth, wide range of investment op- options, uh, asset allocation, it broadens our investing experience, and it boosts our portfolio quality, which is what I plan to ask sa inyong dalawa. No? And uh, let's start with yung benefit of diversification. Can you explain more yung benefit na yon, uh, Dexter? Thank you, Fitz. Actually, uh, may natutunan nga ako dun sa isang Facebook fa- uh, face- Facebook post ng isang kaibigan natin dyan, eh, no? Uh, <laughs> diversify. <laughs> Delight ko nga, eh. Yung, ano, uh, diver- yung global diversification, dahil nga, kahit, minsan, kahit diversified ka na dito sa Philippines, meron ka ng bond, stocks, mm. and ano, kung ano-ano pa. Pero, di natin naiisip. Everything, if everything is in the Philippines, ang tawag natin doon is country risk. So, may mangyari doon sa isang country, kung hindi gumagalaw yung stock market for the past five years, katulad ng experience natin ano, in the past five years, <laughs> pag-ilid-gilid lang, edi, paano na mag-grow yung investment po? No? So, uh, we have to manage country risk. So, uh, global diversification is managing uh, the risk na concentrated ka lang sa isang country or isang economy. And uh, kapag invested ka in a different uh, different parts of the world, different parts of uh, different kinds of economies, uh, kumbaga, one, uh, nakakahanap ka ng, um, ng better opportunities outside. Yan, as far uh, And also, at the same time, na minimize mo yung exposure mo sa isang country lang. And also, kahit sabihin natin nung ano, nung at the height ng sale of mga March last year. Mm, March. Uh, Philippine equities, I think, pumaba na mga 40%, di ba, in a couple of uh, days or weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mga, oh, 40, mga, 40, mga, ganun, 40, 40, 40%, yeah. di ba? Tapos, uh-huh. ibang markets naman, bumaba rin, pero hindi naman ganun kalala. Mga tipo, 15%, not as, or not as much. So, mm-hmm. on managing your risk, uh, hindi tipong hindi ka makakita ng negative 40%, but rather pwedeng less less negative yung ano, portfolio mo. That's at least on the con- context of managing your risk, di ba? Right, right, right. Tapos, parang dagdag ko lang din, di ba, Dex, 
pag dito sa Philippines no pag mag-invest ka sa stock market di ba you also look into yung mga blue chips di ba mga second liners mga third liners kumbaga yung mga super big companies tapos yung mga mga not so big tapos yung mga speculative companies but in paradox di ba in the global realm of things how would the largest companies in the Philippines fare with global companies companies wow Uh, alam mo, <laughs> super late, di ba? Super late. Pag-ilang, <laughs> pag-ilang liner tayo kaya, <laughs> pag sa global. <laughs> Sipin mo na lang, pare. Yung pinakamalaki. Uh, magkano value traded natin in in a day sa Philippine Stock stock Exchange? Mga 10 billion pesos. Oh, diba? 10 billion. Mga 10 billion. Bu- magkano buong billion? stock market na yan. Buong stock, oh, buong stock market na yan. Tapos, Uh-oh. Tignan mong trading ng ano, the likes of Microsoft lang. Kahit Microsoft na ano, na stock, uh, isang stock in hundreds of millions of dollars in one day. Dollars pa. One uh, day pa yun. In one day. Punto ko dun is that ano eh, ganun kalaki yung market out there na mm. kung kukumpara mo yung Philippine market, wala pang ano eh, hindi pa katumbas ng isang stock ng ano ng isang big global company, di ba? So, so kumbaga, Dex, yeah. ano, no? parang yung mga blue chips natin, yung mga super tiwala tayo mga blue chips. Pagdating, pag tinabi, no, sa, sa global company, sa global market, and dahil pinag-uusapan natin yung diversification, parang <laughs> biglang super, you're, you're really riding with the lumili, at saka parang you're already, ano, no, you're standing on the shoulders of giants kumbaga di ba when you correct, correct. invest in the global markets and in the global funds tama correct mm-hmm. uh, ang um, advantage nga niyan is as you uh, go global uh, you can also get to have access to global asset managers then so when it comes to diversification uh, syempre napaka obvious na if you invest in global funds you are having access do sa mga iba't ibang klasing uh, companies especially yung mga big companies in other markets like in the US or in Europe and then because of that you have the the potential to make money dun sa growth ng mga ibang economies katulad mm-hmm. ng katulad ng pandemic syempre meron tayong bias towards mga tech companies kasi sila oh. talaga yung Uh, magtitik uh, off pagdating sa sa economy na kailangan yeah. nasa bahay ka lang no so syempre there was an uptick pagdating sa tech companies eh kung nasa Pilipinas ka lang wala naman talaga tayong global giant dito na tech company na iwanan ka so mas maganda talaga na meron kang access sa mga global economies global or yeah global funds so that your portfolio will have the opportunity to grow and you have a wider range of investment options kapag mm-hmm. meron kang access sa global market. But dun sa nabanggit mo kanina, Renzi, it also made me wonder na yung diversification, it's not just about yung assets. Kasi sabi mo, meron ka rin access sa mga asset managers na siyempre iba yung skill set, probably mas magaling, mas matagal yung experience kasi masanay din sila sa mga mas complicated na market. Which I think is very good, no? Kasi hindi ka lang nakasalalay sa mga local fund managers, but if you invest in a global fund, you are also diversifying doon sa talent na available hmm. sa mga ibang mga funds. Tama, no? That's that's right no. Parang naka-outsource ka. Marami kang mga outsourced. <laughs> outsourced oh. ng portfolio ko sa ngatong fund manager. Tapos etong fund manager na to is good in this particular sabi natin sector or <clears throat> sabi nating region then you know, you get to outsource them as well. Pero may tanong hmm. kay Dexter, since napag-uusapan ng diversification, eh magkano ba kita andiyan? <laughs> Kasi diversified ka nga. Eh. <laughs> Baka mamaya ang na-diversify mo is yung loss ng na-diversify. Yeah. <laughs> so, magkano bang kitaan natin diyan sa mga well, global funds na yan? Like, mag- you know. Magandang reference mo kanina is ano how 2020 was, 'di ba? Yes. Uh, while yes. the Philippines is like down 8%. Uh, global investments are actually up. One good example is, say, uh, the likes of if you're invested in 
the US market um, mm-hmm. depending kung anong mark or anong particular exposure mo pero for example technology was like giving 40% returns wow. in 20 in 2020 mainly because uh-huh. sila yung focus dahil nasa bahay ka ano bang ginagawa mo Netflix or ano ginagawa mo Amazon ka Facebook ka, Facebook ka <laughs> diba pero point ko is that um yung may mga certain sectors global globally is actually um, a good opportunity uh, giving you good, good opportunity because uh siling nandun sa growth phase no? uh, so it can really vary and we we did some i uh, some back testing rin nga dyan eh, na, mm-hmm. um yung benefit kasi of of uh, diversifying is that while say the local market is not doing well there is one way or another certain economy or group of economies out there na doing better dahil um, one good example pag pag uh, pagkatapos ng pandemic san ba ano ba yung mga unang most likely uh, mau, mauunang mag-recover oh uh, ito yung mga marami nang na-vaccinate tapos ano uh, oh, consumer uh, mga ganyan uh, so the likes of uh, US, China, uh, so, pero mm. you get to participate in the upside of those kinds of economies. So, yung mga developed markets, and pwedeng makarecover faster than uh, emerging markets. So, in globally diversifying, we o- parang us coming from the Philippines and NASA emerging market, we have that opportunity to also invest and take the upside of global, uh, globally, um, uh, global markets and uh, developed markets. I was looking at your ano no, at your different funds AXA, but I'm ano I'm quite impressed ha? and <laughs> at chineko I'm, muna kami. Siyempre, <laughs> eh, due diligence natin 'yan. I'm quite impressed ha? and ano, I'm I'm really not impressed as much with other <laughs> with other funds pero I'm impressed yung global I'm looking at the peso no. Uh, I think mm-hmm. these are the peso funds or the dollar but your global advantage fund gave 40 per ito lahat to for the year 2020 no yung global mm. advantage fund gave 40 percent yes that is yung dollar yeah 40 oh the dollar yeah i think yeah mga dollar to but nonetheless no i mean mas keep convert mo sa peso kaunti lang naman the global advantage gave 40 percent wow yep. the dynamic allocation growth gave 17.8 and then the dynamic allocation multi asset gave 13%. Wow, galing ah. So imagine natin mga kaarki no, if you are not invested, sabi mo na lang tong global advantage fund ni AXA na 40%. If you are not invested in this one, then you're missing out 40%. Hmm. Sayang 'yon. <laughs> Malaki rin yung 40%. Hindi ka makakatisod ng ganito ngayon. May, may pero may tanong ako. Uh, pag nag-invest ka ba globally, automatic high risk yun. Meron bang mga global investment na low risk uh, or moderate Good risk question. lang? Kasi kunwari ako, gusto ko mag-invest globally. Mm. Pero ayoko naman yung masyadong volatile. May mga ganun ba? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Good question, Fitz. No? Kasi unang-unang pumapasok sa isip ng mga tao is that, ay, kung mag-invest ako globally, ma-expose ako sa... FX risk, may expose ako sa exchange rate ng dollar peso, di ba? Mm-hmm. Uh, pero, ang dapat nating unawain is, ano bang konteksto natin sa ba tayo nagagaling? Nagagaling tayo sa Philippines na nasanay lang tayo, pero malikot ang market natin. Okay? <laughs> so magka, high, from a high risk market, kung magda-diversify ka to let's say the likes of Hong Kong, Singapore, China, or uh, Korea, lesser risk markets yun, di ba? That's ah, right. Okay. Tapos, um, kahit sabihin natin, okay, yung galaw ng, ng exchange rate natin, uh, may plus minus ka niyan, pero isipin mo naman, kung nandito ka lang, down ka ng 8, 12%, talagang, ano yun, down na yun. As compared to, uh, kung sabihin natin, yung other markets grew by 8%, tapos exchange rate, medyo nalugi ka ng 1%, still 7%, it's still a better no, better experience. Yeah. Now, so that's one. Next, to your point on the exchange, uh, on the, um, paano yung mga um, different kinds of risks, so to speak. Right? So, mm-hmm. 
gaya ng ano ng uh, when we look at meron kang fixed income meron kang balance fund may equity fund ka here in the Philippines from low risk to high risk there are also such global funds available na if you're relatively conservative you can have more of the fixed income global fixed income na hindi lang uh, Philippine credits credit rating ang exposure mo but rather um, other na in other investment grade may be Asian or even uh, US or European. It's it's a choice. Uh, pero point dun is, uh, there is that uh, diversified fixed income portfolio that you can readily uh, take advantage of. Mm. And then, pwede ka rin, you can create a balanced portfolio as well, a fixed income and an equity uh, portfolio combined. Yun. And then, mm. ano naman, kung gusto mong maging, ano, mas maging aggressive, uh, global equities. Tapos, uh, kung meron kang conviction, pwede kang mag-choose ng particular region, pwede rin. Uh, pero as you concentrate it from, let's say, a global standpoint to a more regional, doon mo makikita na, syempre, tataas yung risk mo dahil uh, mas nagiging concentrated ka na naman sa isang lugar. Eh. Mm-hmm. So pwede pala, no? may conservative option. But next, uh, curious question, for your fixed income portfolio, do you have like a minimum... Uh, rating for the funds or for the, you know, for the <clears throat> uh, direct securities, if ever, for your fixed income? Okay. So, for our, we, we do have our fixed income na, um, na ROP. Okay. Tapos mm-hmm. meron din kami global, um, na global fixed income. Our global fixed income on average would be maintained as an investment grade. Investment so, grade. Yeah, on average. Yan. So, while meron mga high yield pero meron ding mga ano um talaga high grade kung tawagin uh, mm. across the world on average it is an investment grade rating okay so kumbaga no so sa mga uh, karki natin that are medyo hindi pa sanay sa uh, offshore or global investing pagdating sa fixed income yon uh, at least uh, on the average investment grade naman yung pinupuntahan ng ano hindi yung mga junk bonds di ba <laughs> <laughs> so you're assured that ano, quality, quality ang laman ng mga funds natin. All right. So to to repeat no, yung mga benefits when you invest in the global markets, of course may diversification ka, meron kang opportunities for investment growth, and there's a wide range of investment options. Of course, kasi buong mundo yung market mo. And it's uh, also a way for you to do some diverse, diversification when it comes to asset allocation. And dahil naglalagay ka na ng pera in other markets, it also encourage you, encourages you to broaden your investing experience. No? Mm-hmm. Hindi lang local business and finances ang binabasa mo. Malamang nagbabasa ka na rin ng mga, mga global news nasa Bloomberg ka na or oh, all those hindi markets, ka na no? <laughs> hindi ka na nasa hindi ka na nasa comics sa showbiz section <laughs> oh Philippine market kung sabi nga ni Dex kanina no Philippine market kung masyadong malalim yung down pero yung iba hindi masyadong malalim so nahihila niya na offset niya yon so it uh, improves then the quality of your portfolio in that regard So, kung ako, convinced na ako na, sige, I have uh, a portion of my investment fund put in a global fund or I want to put it in the international markets. What are some of the things that they should keep in mind? Uh, mm. Ano ba yung mga kailangan malaman nila? What is the proper way to start on investing in the global market? Ano ba yung mga ako. initial steps natin? <laughs> Yeah. Sasagot okay, muna ako, na. Dexter. Ha? Go, go. Uh, <laughs> Kasi for, for me lang, ha, uh, number one sa akin, dapat kilala mo yung pag i mo. Number hmm. one sa Kasi uh-huh. we're talking of offshore na eh. So pag local kasi, you know, the, the usual suspects, di ba? You have banks, you have asset management companies, you have trust institutions, usual suspect. Yes. But yes. offshore global markets is really parang ano ba? parang uncharted territory. So if it's an uncharted territory, 
at nilalabas na yung pera mo, then you really have to deal with an institution na may track records ka kilala mo. Kasi Correct. kung offshore yan at tinakbo yung pera mo, eh, eh kung hindi covered ng BSP yan or <laughs> hindi covered ng insurance commission yan or any other regulator, then say goodbye to your money. Diba? Kasi these are essentially not under, you know, some of them might not actually be under the uh, ano ba, the supervision. regulation or yeah. supervision of the Philippine government. So, tama, tama naman talaga yan. No? So, as I, so, one is the reputation, knowing that that uh, institution that you're dealing with is very important, lalo na rampant yung marami kang na, na babalita in the past few years or even months mm-hmm. about yung mga scams that, uh, that's happening out there, di ba? Lalo na, uh, so, that's one. And also, as you also get to, uh, so, nilimit mo na to, ano, to reputable uh, institutions, for example. Mm-hmm. Um, worth also asking, ano ba yung fund that you're investing in? Dahil minsan, sinasabi, oh, this is already uh, an offshore fund. Pero alamin mo, research about it, read about it. Again, there's what we call global funds, na tipong more than just one region yung ininvesta niyan. Right? Tapos meron yung regional funds, na tipong sa isang ano, Asian ba yan, or um, European uh, mm. ang ininvestan, or meron bang particular sector na ininvestan. May mga ganun bagay na tipo uh, technology fund. And ngayon nga, may mga interesting uh, um, funds na lumalabas na okay yung naging performance is mga responsible investing fund, yung mga uh, yung, uh, ESG, uh, di ba? Oh, may mga ganyan. So, th- th- that's another trend na emerging. So, pero point ko doon is arali, arali natin. Kung baga, research on it, read about it, ask. Ask, don't, don't um, hesitate on asking our uh, that the person offering you ano ba yung objective ng fund na yan? Ano ba yung mga risks, di ba? Ang naintindihan ko, unang-una, kung gusto mong mag-invest in the global market, meron kang first option is maghanap ka ng company abroad, mag open ka ng account doon, and then magkakapag-invest ka na, no? But of course, merong risk yun kasi you're sending your money abroad, tapos you're not directly interacting with a an entity na na check ng Philippine government meaning kapag tinakbo wala kang susugurin wala kang susugurin wow. <laughs> so, uh, the second option which i think is better is you find a company in the Philippines na sila yung tutulong sa na mag-invest in the global market so kumbaga mm. mag-open ka ng account locally so you're dealing with a Philippine equi- uh, entity, Pinoy yung kausap mo, <laughs> and mm. then sila yung company na either meron silang partners abroad na dun sila nag invest or sila mismo, like AXA Philippines, di ba? merong AXA uh, asset management uh, company ang AXA group, yes. yung anong... anong name nun, yung uh, uh, We have Argitas. Argitas, Argitas. is our... Uh, multi-manager na asset management firm. Tapos we also have AXA IM or AXA Investment Managers. Oo. So, so kung nag-invest ako, for example, sa AXA, syempre, AXA Philippines ang kausap ko, pinoy yung kausap yes. ko, sa inyo ko binibigay yung pera ko. Pero, meron kayong international na asset management or uh, global asset management company Managers. na, yes. yun ngayon yung nag invest uh, nag-analyze ng markets mm-hmm. para mapalago yung pera ko. So, I think that Correct. is the uh, better yun. or safer option sa akin. Of course, may mga tao malalakas ang loob, gusto dumiretso. Pero, mm-hmm. meron akong ikikwento sa inyo. Last year, noong nagka-pandemic, a lot of people predicted na tataas nga yung mga tech companies. And yung mm-hmm. mga kakilala ko na merong access sa US market may mga foreign broker sila, nagbibibili ng stocks ng Zoom. Mm. Pero, Alam ang problema, ko. ang Zoom na binili nila ay yung Zoom, Zoom Zoom Technologies. Mali. Mm. That's Maling a penny Zoom. stock in the US market. Kasi ang stock code ng Zoom ay, ay Z-O-O-M. So, akala ng tao yun yung Zoom company. Pero, in fact, uh. ang, ang stock code nung, nung Zoom na, na ginagamit natin Oh, sa mga online yeah, conference yeah. natin, ay ZN. So, <laughs> so, mali talaga. Nagkaroon pa ng ano eh. Alam ko, nagkaroon ng uh, 
ng stock holding na, na uh-huh. pinatigil yung trading ng Zoom Technologies kasi penny stock yon so mali yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, the right symbol talaga is yung Zoom Video Communications which is yung ZN so mm-hmm. that's one of the risk that you have kung ikaw mismo yung nag invest directly mm-hmm. but of course kung wala ka talagang time na pag-aralan yung mga mga intricate details of the global markets you can always put your money in a global fund work with yeah. a financial institution that has that can offer you global funds so that you can take advantage of the growth in other markets without having that risk na magkamali ka ng pipiliin no but mm. uh, of course it's always important to first understand kung ano ba yung Correct. pinapasok mo you have to mm-hmm. in general you have to understand how the global markets uh, interact with each other di ba ano ba yung ano niya ano ba yung relationship nitong mga global markets na to minsan hindi natin iniisip eh basta lagay lagay lang tayo ng lagay ng pera and parang ano yan eh parang binabaril mo lang yung target mo pero hindi ka marunong umasinta kasi hindi mo alam <laughs> yan, diba? so yun yung uh, nakita kong very important or i think the most important thing to keep in mind if you want to invest in the global markets being able to understand ano yung pinapasok mo and uh, being able to find a person or an institution na you are willing to work with mm-hmm. and of course kung katulad ng uh, AXA Philippines mm-hmm. you have local representatives or ang tawag yeah. na nila di ba AXA financial partners financial advisors. Yeah. or financial advisors that they can talk to uh, if they want to learn more about how they can uh, access itong mga global funds na to. If I may add, uh, um, I think one important thing that we should uh, also bear in mind as we start uh, opening our eyes uh, going beyond uh, our shores in doing investing is that we take those uh, steps correctly. Kahit small steps lang eh. Meaning, mm. uh, kahit mag-funds ka muna eh. Diba? Uh, investment mm. funds to diversify your portfolio. Uh, mm. Malaking bagay na yun eh. Hindi mo kinakailangan mag-stock pick kagad eh. Pero uh, as you you increase your in, uh, investment literacy, uh, financial literacy, um, start investing, diversify your portfolio, kahit funds lang yan, um, diversified na. And then, uh, as you build your your confidence, dun, dun, mo, dun ka na maging innovative, slowly but surely. But what is important is, we take those steps uh, gradually, at least you start moving forward. One last, um, kasi na-highlight nyo rin, say, one good point about mm-hmm. yung mga clients niya. Mostly, clients niya are in- institutional clients, right? Mm-hmm. Now, Ako, when I was handling clients also uh, years back, uh, most of institutional clients lang yung mga kaya mag-invest globally. Kaya sila yung nakakatipo. Yeah, uh, they have the volume and, eh. They have the volume. Uh, and also, mga high net worth clients, yung mga mm. nakaka-diversify lang globally. But mm-hmm. now, uh, in recent years, with all these uh, global funds being made available through uh, affordable unit investment trust funds, mutual funds, or viable un- link products, the common Filipino can now also diversify their portfolio. So it's really worth looking into. So that's a very good point. And uh, as we mentioned no, nung episode 1, na yung access natin sa pag invest mm-hmm. sa global markets mas dumadali unlike in previous years or unlike in the past 30, 20 years. Mas madali na ngayon. And as we've talked today, there are a lot of advantages, there are a lot of benefits in investing in global funds. And siyempre, kung naghahanap tayo ng uh, financial institution where we can invest in the international markets, nandito ang AXA Philippines na available sa inyo para tulungan kayo na iplano ang inyong investment uh, journey. So, as we are showing to you on screen, 
you can talk to an AXA financial partner today by going to axa.com.ph slash appointments or you can just scan the QR code that you're seeing right now dito sa ating screen. Alright. So, katulad <laughs> ng ayan, katulad ng nabanggit ni Dexter ang AXA Philippines, marami silang mga global hmm. funds na available. Mayroong mga low risk, may moderate risk, high risk. High risk. Mayroong dynamic allocation fund. May mga funds na nag invest sa tech, may nag invest sa European market, etc. So, ang dami niyan. Alin dyan yung pipiliin mo? And that will be our topic for episode 3. So, ah. I hope they ah. uh, stay Para tuned. Star Wars lang, ha? <laughs> Para yes, Star Wars lang, ha? Para Star Wars lang, So, maraming salamat sa panunod itong episode 2. Thank two. you. Kita-kita ulit tayo sa next episode natin. And uh, salamat, Dexter. Salamat, Tracy. Dex, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank right. you for having me. Yeah. So, second, uh, see you again sa next episode natin next week. Alright? So, bye-bye. 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 Thanks, Dex. Bye. As we learned, global investing may just be the key to reaching your financial goals. But remember to study your options first and work with a trusted financial institution. Reach out to an AXA financial partner today and we will help you create your global investing game plan.